our first visit today is going to be to our transport demonstration, where we're going to be looking at how we bring IoT to life. We have demonstrations focused on travel, on road and vehicle systems to improve safety and commuter connectivity. Simon Young is here to tell us more. Thanks, Julie. So we're here at Cisco Live Melbourne to look at demonstrations around the Internet of Things, IoT in action. What better way to demonstrate IoT than with transportation? We're looking at three core elements around IoT. One is around connectivity and networking. We're demonstrating our industrial Ethernet portfolio and our wireless products. We're demonstrating LoRa, which is a wireless, long-range, low-power uh, sensor connectivity uh, solution. And we're also showing Jasper Control Center, which is all about providing communications and management to mobile and cell connectivity. The second element that we're showing is around security, and that's around IoT threat defense. We're displaying the architecture here. And third is around IoT data fabric, which is essentially Kinetic. Kinetic's our software platform, it sits on top of the network layer and provides customers with the ability to extract and unpack data from sensors. Second, it provides the ability to run compute anywhere, edge, fog, even out in the cloud and even on-prem and in a distributed manner. And third, we're providing the capability to move that data to the most appropriate app and get value out of it. The best way to show all these elements working together is a connected car and go through an example. So what we're doing here with the Internet of Things is we're connecting lots of different stuff together. We're connecting vehicles, people and infrastructure such as intersections together. We're also demonstrating how we're taking lots of different sensor data and blending it together and using that to predict future events. Examples of data could be the speed of the vehicle, maybe the wiper blades are on, perhaps they're putting on their traction control even perhaps even if a pedestrian is walking in front of you. So then with all that information together, what we can do is we can drive an action towards a vehicle and help prevent an accident from occurring. So that's IoT in action, and that's how we're using transportation and IoT to help make it safer and more efficient for everyone. Thanks.